Hi everybody, this is Mythopoda here, and today I'm going to go scene by scene from the Godzilla 2014 teaser trailer and analyze each scene. So, here we go. So, I already made two mo um, two trailers, trailer reviews of a uh, same trailer of the Godzilla 2014 teaser trailer. Um, one of them was, you know, on the 9th and then the other one was in the 11th. Now, I'm going to go... Um, I'm gonna go scene by scene and analyze each scene. And you know, sh little bonus stuff with that we didn't know. Oh, and actually, before I actually start this thing, I actually believe that actually the MUTO, like the MUTO government or MUTO corporation, whatever, organization, they actually um, have these monsters. They actually, like, I guess, have these monsters, yeah? Um. But they were actually like you know, exper like test experiments. But you know it went all chaotic with the whole you know radioactive stuff, and then they turned into giant monsters and wreaked havoc and went loose. So yeah, I just wanted to clarify that just in case I in one of the videos I just say that with no warning. So here we go. So Gentlemen, yeah, you are being there. By a halo jump. Are there a view? So if you want to see the review, then go ahead and go to my other videos. Let's see, what is that supposed to be? Is that like a building? Oh yeah, it looks like, it looks like a destroyed building. Like there's just parts where you know the this is. Whoa! I did not saw that other man right there. Whoa! I did not saw him at all. But anyways, there was this like man, you know, this captain or something, and there's like soldiers around him. You know, remember that part in the beginning of the trailer, you know, where the soldiers are all around and there's a captain right there? And I actually didn't even notice this guy, but there's this guy right here next to the captain. Well, not exactly next to, but he's in one of the, like, I guess he's technically next to, but I, I didn't even saw him at all. And, you know, he's um, close to the map. But anyways, this is like one picture right here. Like, it kind of looks like a destroyed city. kind of looks like something's destroyed, like, all. Oh, you know, the sword. And as you can tell, it looks like, what is that? Like right here in 9 seconds, if you stop at 9 seconds, there's this part. It looks, what, is, what is that now that I notice? I know they're in a the tent, but outside, you know, there's like, you know, little um, trees and, you know, the looks like a light right there. But right there, it looks like a big pole or something filled with electricity. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I'm not sure what that is supposed to be. Had hands -on experience. Yeah, I don't know what that's supposed to be. And then you see this man, like, they're in the part where, you know, they're getting off of the plane and, you know, about to get off. But there's, like, right in the beginning of that scene, there's just, like, man right here um, in front. I don't know what he's supposed to be there. I don't know why. Frankly, he's none there. of us have ever faced a situation quite like this one before. And everybody's getting ready. And they jump. The leap of faith. I would not be asking any one of you to take this leap. Nothing suspicious right there. Kind of fucking space. I do not have complete faith in your ability to succeed. Your courage will never be more needed than it is today. They go with the clouds. Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me go to here. Whoa, if you see the part, okay, this is scene, you know, where, you know, the soldiers are doing a halo jump, and then there's just, like, huge dark cloud. Well, right here on the left corner, you actually see something red right there. So it looks like fire is coming out, which is very spooky and scary. They go like that, lightning. One more down now over here. And here we go with the scene. So the scene with this building, I mean, not building, the city. I, I don't think that looks like Godzilla actually destroyed that. I don't think Godzilla actually destroyed that. First of all, I would think Godzilla would do way more massive damage than, than, than that. I don't think he'd do way, way more massive damage than that. And also right here. You can see, like, the coast right here on the other side, like, close to the camera. And you see some, like, little, little things right here. 
And they're still up right here, even though it got the last supposedly. And it looks like this is like an ocean or something, but it looks very small. And also, like I said, you know, but I don't think Godzilla will do that little damage. I bet it will do, like, humongous damage. And it's, like, plenty of tall buildings still up. Um, unless, you know, Godzilla's like Otachi from the Pacific Rim movie. Where, you know, the Gypsy Danger fights the other back. And then once, um, Gypsy Danger finally kills the other back, he turns around and then sees the destroyed, I mean, uh, city with fire. Well, you know, Otachi was not very, um... I guess she then um, got the, um, I don't know why, she then um, destroyed the whole entire city. But if that's the case, then okay. But I think maybe the military caused this. Maybe, like, you know, they threw a bomb and stuff like that. And then, you know, that's when they threw a bomb at Godzilla. And these people and the Halo Jump were going down for the, you know, rescue people that are still alive. And, you know, because they think, oh, Godzilla's already dead. We already finished him off, so... Let's just get the last survivors, and you know, stuff like that. But the only bad thing is that in the beginning part, it says, you guys have never faced a threat like this, I mean, a threat, um, you know, something like that, you know what I mean? But, you know, it, it kind of says, like, you know, oh, Godzilla's still out there. So I really do not know what's wrong with this. Maybe, maybe, you know, he, um, they threw the bomb, they thought he was dead, but then he was alive, so then that's when they sent the people in the Halo Jump to, I don't know, do something about it. And, yeah, I, I really don't know, but let's continue. And then right here, nothing suspicious right there. And then right here, you know, the part with, um, Godzilla. And right here, like, right when he's going, like, right when the soldier's looking down, like, you know, because we're looking at this, like, like, we're technically, and this is how, like, the soldier is looking at. Like, right in the first scene, you see, like, some buildings, like, in the side, and they're kind of, like, crumbled up. But they're, they're technically already destroyed. And then right here, you see the red, uh, a red dot right here. And that's actually one of the soldiers. Poor him, because he's right on top of Godzilla. So, if this was Aaron Taylor Johnson, this little red thing right here, oh, we will get a very good shot at Godzilla. And he will be, I guess, dead, I guess. But in this scene, it looks like he's not. And then you see fire in the background right here. Look like there's a big building right there inside. Oh, and I also saw, like, a big building that's also destroyed at the last part. And then right here, and then it looks like Brian Cranston works for the Muto Corporation, I believe. Yeah, he works for the organization. And, you know, all the Muto employees or whatever, they're running in one side, but Brian, Cranst Cr Brian Cranston is running to the opposite side. So, you know, maybe maybe it's in the f way um, she's tr um, he's trying to save... Um, her wife, which is Julia Binoche. So, you know, we don't know. But I bet it is. And then right here, these people in this cave, you know, they're actually going inside a cave with some guns. Uh, nothing suspicious right here. But I have a feeling that, you know, th the next part, which is the Aaron Taylor Johnson with a gun, and then he looks up in terror. I believe they're both connected. And then, you know, that train. And then right here, wait, wait, wait. I, I saw, like, some tracks, maybe? Like some tracks. It kind of looks like they're actually in a tunnel or something. Kind of looks like that. Whoa, okay. It looks like they're actually in a tunnel. I believe they're actually in a tunnel. Like, if you see right here in the background at 122, it looks like they're, like, in a tunnel or something. So, it cannot be Godzilla. Because I don't see, like, the whole entire tunnel being destroyed. Like, I see a little tunnel and then you go to the outside, like, some little building right here. But it's still kind of a tunnel, I guess. So, I think that's actually one of the Muto, um, you know, breaking the train. So, you know, they, they go down. You know, nothing suspicious with that. And then right here, I think, um, is that maybe, um, there's some, like, lots of, like, soldier right here. And that somebody's actually opening this, like, case or, you know, this door thing. So, I have a feeling that maybe, um... Uh, they're trying to search if there's any mutos left, and they have guns, like, to be prepared just in case it attacks them. Let's continue, and then, this, I really do not know what this is. And then right here, this airport part, this is, like, building all the way in the corner, like, on the background. I can barely even see. It looks like right here, kind of like a, um, you know, place of shelter, maybe. Kind of looks like a restaurant, kind of, because you see all these, like, seats, and, you know, tables, and there's some food right here. You can 
barely see it, but it looks like it's like a restaurant or something. Maybe it's like the, um, you know, some stores kind of, just like the gasoline station kind of. Like except with an airport maybe. I don't know. Nothing, you can't see any mutos. And then right here, I believe this is actually, um, you know the part where Aaron Taylor Johnson has his gun and then he's looking up? Well, I believe they're both connected. So, this is the thing that, you know, there's some people who go down, I mean, they're in the cave searching. And that's when Aaron Taylor Johnson looks up and then one of the mutos, you know, attacks them all. And then that's when Aaron Taylor Johnson runs through the train tracks and then, you know, the muto is chasing him. And then he jumps off of it. And then meanwhile, the muto is trying to reach for him. And actually, it looks like down here, it's actually, um... A river, so it might be the coast. So you know, it, I think they're both they're both connected, but I really do not know. Really don't know. And then right here, but not right here. And then right here in the corner, you actually kind of see like a destroyed city, kind of. You can barely see it, but it looks like a destroyed city. Bomb right here. It kind of looks like this is the middle of the movie. Maybe the on the beginning of the movie, maybe. Actually, I think in the middle, cause you don't see any destroyed buildings in this part. And then right here, the children running. In the beginning part, there's actually a teacher. That, you know, leading them like, oh, get out of here. So, you know, this has to be a case, you know, of a giant monster heading, coming. Maybe they saw, like, the news and stuff like that. So, you know, I don't know. And I have a feeling this is actually a flashback when Aaron Taylor Johnson was actually a, you know, a elementary um, school student. And, you know, that's when her mom dies and all that stuff. And then right here we see Binash right here. Looks like she also works for the Muto organization. And it looks like she, um, she's actually trying to save one of her, like, colleagues, like, one of her companions. But then that's when, you know, maybe one of the Mutos escaped from the laboratory and then they're attacking. And then right here you see Brian Cranston crying. So I have a feeling that Brian Cranston running and then this part is they're both connected. Because, I don't know, Brian Cranston is trying to reach for Banash, but then that's when Banash is also trying to escape. But Banash, you know goes behind because she's trying to save one of her colleagues and then once she's running again that's when brian cranston tries to come back but then sees um and then that right here and then see that the doors are shutting so that means you know they um Binash didn't got time to come so maybe she got killed by the muto maybe right here dead people right here and then right here on the, on the part where aaron taylor johnson turns you actually see some um, people running and right here, right here, the part with the building and the hole, that's actually pretty fascinating, that part. Because if you look super carefully at the, like, in the background, you kind of see, like, a beak or, like, a head. It really looks like a beak or a head. So it might be one of the Muto. So I really don't know. And then, actually right here, well, you know, Elizabeth Olsen looking in the sky. I don't think that's Godzilla, because in the background, there's some people who are not running. They're kind of, like, scared, but they're walking. So maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe one of the Mutos is attacking somewhere. So, you know, they have to evacuate, maybe? I don't know. And then right here, you know, the part with Godzilla. Uh, nothing suspicious here. I already saw this part. Nothing suspicious here. So, yeah, that's all, like, you know, in, like, analyzation. Um, you know, it's just... Just, um, speculation, not true, not completely true, just, you know, speculation. But it could actually be true since it, it looked very linked together. So, this is the end for this video. Um, remember to subscribe, like, and comment. And next time, I will be reviewing the MUTO websites. So, yeah, this is Matthew Poda, signing out.